hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to sew this beautiful short pattern my name is joanne if you're new to this channel you're very welcome please subscribe to this channel like and share this video thank you so let's start welcome back this is my short pattern in case you don't know how i cut this pattern i'll be dropping a link in the description box below please do well to check this is the zipper fly I'm going to be stitching from that point there I'm going to be stitching all the way down and this is my dad I've already imputed my dad's both the front and the back then go ahead and overlock your patterns all around but if it's not convenient for you you can just go ahead and sew it but it's better you overlock it so as you can see I've overlocked the pattern the front piece and the back piece so for the back this is my dad and I've already overlocked all around then over to the pocket this is my pocket pattern the main pocket I've already overlocked all around this overlocking will help make my work very neat so I advise you do so as well so this is the pocket facing as you can see I've done the same thing overlocked all around so I'll just put that aside going over to the the turn up this is it I cut the turn up to each for the front for the front side to each for the back to each that's for each leg you have to cut to each so I've already overlocked both sides so this is the belt holder I cut it by 1.5 inches so I went ahead and folded half of an inch both sides and I pressed it with my iron because I'll be folding it I'll be folding it double fold it like so and I'll go ahead and run a stitch all the way so because the belt holder is supposed to be a quarter of an inch so this is the belt i'll be adding belt to my shorts i had to combine this fabric because i ran short of fabric and i hope it comes out very well after all sewing is all about creativity <laughs> guys i hope you understand so that is my belt go ahead and cut the times two of your waist measurement for your belt so this is my band i cut it two inches and this is the zipper i'll be using for my shorts it's actually a white zip and my, a white thread that I'll be using to stitch my shorts together. So, going over to the back piece now, I'll be join, oh, joining the flap together like so by half of an inch. That was the allowance we used while cutting, guys. Half of an inch. I'll sew the flap then to the front side. I'm going to flip over the where we have the zipper fly like so and i'm going to be stitching from that point there i'm not stitching all the way up it's only from that point there i'll be stitching all the way down not up down don't be confused you can go ahead and use your pin to just pin from that point of five inches up then go ahead and stitch your flap only the flap so i've i'm done stitching the flap side and I went ahead to press it down with press the flap down with an iron. This is how the flap looks like after stitching. And I went ahead to stitch the darts like so. As you can see, I've already stitched my darts and I've pressed the flap side with my iron. If you press it down with an iron, trust me, while fixing your zip, it will be very, very easy for you. So I'll keep that aside and show you the, what I did for the back. I've already sewn the flap and the darts. So that is how it's looking. I'm going to put this aside and bring the front over. So next I'll be fixing the zipper. At this point guys, please follow what I'm doing. It's not hard. It's very easy to fix the zip. So I'm flipping the shorts to the back now. And I'm going to be fixing the zipper. So, 
this is how I'm going to be doing it. I'll place the front where you have this topper, like so. I'm going to be placing it. You see that point of five inches. Place the front zipper to that side like that to the flap side like that let the front zipper face the front side of that flap and please place it close to that line and just run a stitch from down up or from up down then afterwards you top stitch please make sure the teeth of the zip is very close to that point you iron that is why I advise you press your flap your zipper fly with an iron it is very very important so I'll go ahead and just pin that down I'm pinning it down so that while stitching the zipper doesn't move I just want the zipper to be in place that is why I'm pinning it down Go ahead and pin yours down but if you feel your zipper will move or you can go ahead and use a zipper foot on your sewing machine with that your zipper will move so i'll run a stitch from down to up when you get oh you if you're running from up to down please top stitch down there and please sew it very very close to that point where you iron so this is it guys i'm done stitching it this is how it's looking flip the back for you guys to see so i'm just going to tuck in that zipper that that the zipper and turn the back like this for you to see very very well so afterwards i'm going to flip that over and top stitch i'm going to top stitch because i want my zipper to lay very flat so i'm going to flip this over like this the zipper over i'm just top stitch very very close to that point i made a stitch initially so i've top stitch and this is how it's looking my zipper has laid very very well so next thing i'll be doing is to go ahead and stitch the other parts of the zip so in order to do that i've already flipped this to the right side like so just do it this way and i'll go ahead to make sure i match the both sides together it is very very important especially around that five points area please match it together one side shouldn't be longer than one side so i've done that and i'm going ahead now to use my pin to hold it down using the pin to hold it down will help me while i'm stitching the zip to the zipper fly it will help the zipper be in place but if you feel you cannot do this you can go ahead and do it whatever whichever way so far you have the the results the same result it doesn't really matter what matters is the result. so I'm going to flip it over like this and I'll be showing you where to stitch so going over to the other side we've not stitched look at it have you seen guys hope you're following so i'm going to be making a stitch very very close to that line as well i'm going to be running a stitch all the way down so this is how it's looking i've already run a stitch and i've removed the pins i'm going ahead now to cut off the leftover thread i don't like seeing all these threads it makes my work rough so this is how it's looking I've already removed all those pins I use and this is it so have you seen it's looking very neat the zipper is looking very neat already so what I'm doing now is to mark 1.25 inches for that shape when you you know the, the shape of the zipper fly that shape there I'm going to be marking all the way 1.25 inches then around that 5 inches, I won't mark to that point of 5 inches down because I'll be making a curve. Exactly what we did for that pattern while we were cutting the pattern. Like so, I'll be making a curve like this. Have you seen? 
So I'm going ahead to make a curve all the way like so. Have you seen the shape is already out? At this point, you can give it a single stitch or you can do it a double stitch. But when you get to that point of 5 inches, please, you have to top stitch. So I've already done that and this is how it's looking, guys. So flipping over to the back side, I'm going to that point I top stitch. Remember the first zipper part we sewed that we I top stitch? I'm going to be pressing that down. So I've gone ahead to do that and this is how it's looking. It's looking very, very neat. It's looking very neat, guys. So next I'll be bringing the pocket facing. I'm just going to place it this way and stitch half of an inch. I'll do the same thing for the other side. So I'm done stitching and this is how it's looking at the back. Please when you're placing your pocket facing, place right side facing each other. So by the time you're done stitching, this is how it will look. I went ahead to iron it. Go ahead and iron yours, please. So I'll go ahead and bring the main pocket and fix it. Show you guys how to do it. But first and foremost, I'll be marking 2.5 inches. That was what we used while we were cutting the pattern. So I'm marking 2.5 inches to place very very close that pocket area i'm going to be placing it on that 2.5 inches up on the waist side as you guys can see so i'm flipping over to the back side now i'm going to show you how you can stitch you're just going to turn it wrong sides fitting each other and make a stitch very tiny stitch all the way let me show you guys how i did that again placing my short pattern like so please make sure you place it on that point of 2.5 inches if not you'll be running short of fabric on the waist side then flip over wrong sides fitting each other like so then you're going to make a tiny stitch all the way down do not stitch to that hip area i'll do same thing for this other side and show you this is how it is guys I went ahead to stitch hold it down around the waist side and the hip side so I'm just putting my hand for you to see and I flip the back for you to see how it is I've gone ahead to iron it so next I'll be sewing the turn up to the short length but if you did not cut the turn up go ahead and join both your front and your back pattern before you hem it so this is the turn up the right side is facing the wrong side of the short pattern so i'm going to be stitching please while you're placing it make sure you place the inseam to where the inseam is the inseam is where we have the flap and the out seam is around along the hip area Please make sure you place the turn up face the inch seam facing the inch seam. It is very, very important. The inch seam should face the inch seam and the out seam should face the out seam. So afterwards, I'm going to be folding a bit of an inch and just sew it. So I'll do the same thing for this side and show you guys. So I've done that and I did both the front and the back and this is how it's looking this is how i went ahead to iron it have you seen guys it's looking very neat at this point i'm loving this combo material <laughs> so this is how it's looking it's looking very very neat i'll be joining both the front and the back piece but if you notice i did not sew this turn up i did not sew it all the way as you can see i left some inches like one inch on both sides because while i'm going to be turning 
sewing the front and the back short together i will not sew all the way down to the turn up because you'll be sewing the turn up separately and the short separately then afterwards you sew it all together so this is me matching the flap side together the crowd side i'm going ahead to use my pin to press it down before stitching i'm removing the turn up because i won't be stitching that alongside the the short the front and the back short like so i'm going to go ahead to stitch half of an inch then when i get to that middle point i'm going to stitch all the way up to the other side see half of an inch stitch it all the way to this other side please make sure you remove the turn up you're not stitching all the way to the turn up you're because after stitching we'll be stitching the turn up differently from the short pattern i'll go ahead and do same thing for the back for the side sorry so i'll go ahead and stitch the side of half of an inch but if you you cut if while you were cutting this pattern you use one inch for the side please use one inch seam allowance so one inch seam allowance i'm going to be sewing half of an inch so this is me i'm done see how it's looking i didn't sew the other side because i'll be showing you guys how i did this so this is how it's the turn up is already in place like so and it's looking very very neat have you guys seen how i'm going to how you're going to sew these other parties remember i said you shouldn't sew your short pattern all the way to the turn up sew the turn up separately from the trouser you're doing this only along the sides the both sides i'll go ahead and use my pins to pin it down after pinning it assuming i've sewn it like so i'll go ahead and flip it over then open the seam for the shorts like this are you seeing then after flipping it over i'll go ahead and flip over open the open the seam for the turn up as well then after opening the the seam for the turn up i'll just press it together like this have you seen then I'll run a stitch to close that side up. Then after closing it up, I'll now then flip it over. The turn up now facing the right side of the shorts. So after that, I'll be attaching the belt holder. So after sewing the turn up, this is how it's looking. It's looking very fine. So over to the waist side, I'll be attaching the belt holder now. And I've already gone ahead to cut the belt holder seven, seven pieces for the belt holder and i use a width of 2.5 inches because my band is 1.5 inches so along the dart area i'm going to mark half of an inch where you have the waist the waist come down by half of an inch mark along the dart area the sides the back dart and that joining along your crouch line so i'll go ahead and pin it for you to see so this is it the width is the length is 2.5 inches and the width is a quarter of an inch so this is me placing the the band holder the belt holder like so i'll go ahead and make a stitch but i'll just press it down with a pin what i'm doing now i'll do it for all the sides the two the two dart area, the sides, the back darts, and that line, that joining along the flap line. So as you can see, I'll do it and come and show you guys. And I'll go ahead and fix the band for you guys to see as well. I added fusible interfacing for the band. It will help the band have stability. Go ahead and add a feasible interfacing for your band too. So where I marked that 2 inches, that is for the overlap. And I marked half of an inch, so I'll turn it, sew half of an inch to 
that point of two inches for the overlap then i'll turn this other side right side facing each other and sew half of an inch so this is my belt i'll be stitching my belt together as well i'm going to turn the right sides facing each other and i'll be making a stitch at 1.5 half of an inch sorry half of an inch all the way to the middle i'll turn over to the other side and make a stitch half of an inch sew it close to the middle part i'll be leaving along the middle part i'll be leaving one inch so as to enable me to turn my belt right sides so i won't be closing that side up so and stop there so the other side and stop there so i'm done fixing my band and this is how it's looking i didn't sew down my my belt holder because i want to be showing you guys how you can achieve that so this is my zip I'm going to open that up for you to see i see guys it's looking very neat and this is my overlap that is how it's looking very very neat so for the belt holder place it on your band like this and make a stitch a tiny stitch press it down stitch it to your band like so have you seen stitch it to your band like so then the downside whatever excess that is left on the downside i'm going to pull it down and stitch it to the main trouser a ti very tiny stitch so this is it this is how i'm going to do it i'm going to do that and, and show you guys so at this point if you're still watching please do subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share thank you so after that i'll be fixing the hook and eye if you have fastener you can go ahead and use it so for the hook i'm placing it on the overlap and for the eye i'm pressing it the other side so this is how i've done it i've already gone ahead to fix the belt already and it's looking very 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 fine <laughs> so this tutorial is very easy guys it is very very easy i expect you to sew your shorts please drop a comment for me drop a comment ask me anything i'll respond to it i promise you guys so this is it guys at this point we've come to the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed yourself thank you so much have fun bye